Okay, my name is Stanley Gezemba. I'm author from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, I've published so far three novels and a collection of short stories. I've also written stories for children and um, yeah, basically short stories, novels and uh, stories for children. And your latest one out is a collection of short stories. Tell me about that and tell me who it's published with and what it's about. My latest book is called Nairobi Echoes. It's published by Bahati Books. Uh, we recently launched it in Kampala at the Riotivism Festival some, sometime early last month. And um, it is basically a collection of uh, sort of dark, dark uh, fiction. Yeah. Originally, it was uh, I was co contracted by an, uh, an editor to do a story for a collection that a publisher had, um, had uh, an interest in. They wanted to do a sort of noir collection of stories yeah. on Nairobi. Yeah. And um, a number of us authors were invited to submit stories. But then somehow the stories never quite met the criteria they were looking for. And then uh, the project kind of collapsed. Yeah. So I decided to pursue it because uh, I, I really like the, the style of the, st the, the approach. I decided to come up with a collection of my own stories and then that is how Nairobi Echoes came about. And what sort of topics are touched on in those stories? Mm -hmm. Most of them are gritty kind of um, crime stories and they are, they, are, they are not really the kind of stories you would read when you're going to bed because they are, most of them make people uncomfortable. I remember we were discussing some of them in um, Kampala and the, the, the person who um, the, the panelist had read some of them and I remember she told me she would never eat meat again after she read a story in the so called very um, much Nairobi Noir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's called uh, Chinese cuisine. Yes. And there's um, uh, characters in there selling dogs which they're passing yes. off as beef. <laughs> okay. And so you've it. also um, got coming out early in spring mm -hmm. um, your first novel in the States. Now, my first novel was called The Stone Hills of Maragoli. It was originally issued by um, a Kenyan publisher who went bankrupt. Mm. And then the novel had to be reissued by Kwani. Yeah. And then um, now it is being published in the States in early next year yeah. by the Mantra Press of New York. And what's the story in that? Mm -hmm. The story is, basically, I was reminiscing on my... Um, on, on, on my past, my childhood, mm. growing up in my own village around Christmas, Christmas time. And I was trying to capture the, the, the Christmas period, which mm. is, I think, when I was growing up was the most exciting period in, 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 a, in an African village. Because, you know, your um, relations from distant cities would have come home to visit. Mm. And there would be basically a, a lot of celebrations going on. So I was trying to capture that in that story. And the short stories we were talking about earlier are published as an e-book. Mm -hmm. What do people feel about e-books here in Kenya? I think e-books haven't quite caught on in Kenya. Yeah. I remember every time I run into someone and they ask about, maybe they've seen uh, a promo of uh, Nairobi Echoes on Facebook or Twitter. The first question they ask me is where can we find the print mm. copy? Yeah. And I'm like, we still don't have plans for that, but you can you can read it as an e an e an e book, and then they they say okay we we'll, we'll we'll see, but I can I can tell from from yeah. you you know from the conversation that they really aren't going to buy the e book. They are waiting for the print version to come out. So um, I would say e books still haven't caught on here in Kenya, specifically in the um, countryside. You know, m maybe most of the readers for e-books could be found around Nairobi mm. because Nairobi is like, well, the, the nerve center of Kenya. Yeah. But then um, once you get out of the city, yeah. I don't think that many people have e-readers and, you know, the, the yeah. culture of reading a book from, you know, a mobile device. Yeah. I don't think it has got on. Uh, yeah. And also something else, um, readers always want the author to sign, to sign yeah. the copy for them. So it becomes kind of challenging to do that with an e-book. And why is it that the publishers, some of the publishers you've had, have been so bad at selling your books? Why, why do you think that is? 
generally all the publishers I've worked with have been very bad, extremely bad. Mm. I, I don't think they had, um, they, they quite understand how to move um, a work of fiction. I think the Kenyan publishing market is basically designed for uh, school readers. Mm. And so unless your book is accepted for use in schools, yeah. they, they really have no, no, no way of, you know, they, they, they don't understand how to, you know, invest in yeah. a fiction, a, a work fiction. of fiction. Yeah. Yeah.